Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Max Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, is it not two weeks since Pasquale put his daughter Rosti in my night school class so I should have got used to her and marry her? That's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, Mamma Mia. When I'm joining the school to learn the three R's, I'm never thought they're going to be reading, writing, and a roaster. <laughs> but the funny part is, the Pasquale was right. The more I'm see roaster, the more I'm getting used to her. Just like Uncle Pietro was once got used to, to his boat. Only I'm getting used to, to an elephant. I wouldn't like to say anything bad about the roaster because... Well, she's got a good heart, a good character, and she's got a good appetite, too. <laughs> that the girl eats every meal like it's the last one before the electric chair. <laughs> when she makes herself a ham sandwich, she's to put enough of ham in her side to bring her back to the whole pig. Listen, <laughs> Mom, to me, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I don't know what to do. I'm never going to leave my wonderful night school, and, and I'm got to get the Rosa out. But Pasquale, he's very stubborn. He says the Rosa stays in my class till I'm learning his kind of arithmetic. One and a one is a two twins, and a two and two is a four quadruplets, and a son of the butter. <laughs> but even now, he's telling her how she should have catch me for her husband. Rosa! There is that guy, Rosa! Yes, my little rye crisp. Who's been changing the spelling on this menu? Hey, Papa, you spell cocky story with five K's. Well, you did worse. You spelled it without any K's. Papa, cocky story hasn't got any K's. It's spelled C-A-C-C. You stop. You're making me seasick. <laughs> it's not for you in that night school. You're getting it too smart. Hey, by the way, daughter, how's it going with Luigi? Oh, good. Yes, he let me carry his books to school. Yeah. That's wonderful. I can hardly wait till he lets you carry him. <laughs> oh, yeah, Papa. Now, the right way to spell Cacciatore... Oh, stop. I didn't put you in school to tell me how to spell a Cacciatore. I put you in Luigi's class so you could catch him for a husband. Well, I think he's getting to like me more and more, Papa. Hey, good, good. Did you ask him for his first kiss yet, the daughter? Uh, Papa, you always told me the fellow should ask. Forget everything I ever told you. This is a leap year, so leap. <laughs> now, look, Rosa, I want you to do everything possible to keep on seeing Luigi. Walk with him to school, talk with him in school, walk home with him to his antique shop, go inside, help him with his homework. Papa! What? Don't I get time off for lunch? Stop worrying about eating. <laughs> you think uh, little pop stick starting to get used to you, eh? Yes, Papa. <laughs> I think I'm going to start ordering up those red invitations. <laughs> Dear Mr. and Mrs. to who would make her side? Pasquale is happy to invite you to the wedding of his daughter, Rosa, with Luigi Basco. Everything's going to be formal, so please wear your tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosa, my little baby. Soon are you going to be married, and Luigi's going to be Mr. Pasquale. I'll be a housewife, 
and have my own little ice box. <laughs> I'll get it just to see you. Two hundred cubic feet. <laughs> well, little baby, you watch at the store. I'm going to go into him right now and find out a first to hand how crazy he is about you. All right, Papa. Hey, come to the bride. Oh, the dress and the wife. And I'm from little Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pastrelli. Hey, you look <laughs> different today, little banana nose. Me? Different than how, Pastrelli? Oh, your eyes is all a-shining, uh, face is flush, your cheeks all a-blushing. <laughs> Wouldn't it be love, huh, Luigi? <laughs> no, Pastrelli, I'm just to come out of the hot to shower. Uh, <laughs> tell the truth, the little cabbage pussy. Since I put a roast in your class, are you starting to get used to it, huh? Well, uh, Yes, Pastrelli. You may eat a little more used to this week than you did last week, eh? You like a better little melon head? Well, could be. Maybe another week you like it so much you would let the preacher make you one, eh? But the why, Pastrelli? I'm a one right now. Stop <laughs> joking around, Luigi. You know what I mean. But, Pastrelli, I... I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ready enough for, for marriage. Who's asking you to be ready? Just be there, that's all. <laughs> Pastrelli, please, please... Isn't no rush you would have married? No rush, he says. You've been no. stolen me for three years now. It's been the tragedy of my life. Always a pop and never a grandpa. <laughs> yeah, but Pascal, I promise you, when the time comes, I'm going to tell you. Now, don't rush me. you got another right to Oh, do. yes, I am, a God. It's a leap year in Congress to give me the right to, to ask. Now, look, Luigi, I went to a lot of trouble getting roasted in your night nice school of class. I expect to pick the results. You understand? No, I'm a don't understand. And if you keep on about me, then, I, then I'm a never going to marry her. Look, Mr. Spencer, I'm a giving you one more week to fall in love with my daughter at first sight. And if you don't, then I'm going to tell you you don't know what to Well, then, then, then what? What are you going to Then I'm going to figure out how you got to see her every minute of the day, from when you get up in the morning till you go to sleep every night. I'm going to make a stick that's so close to you, you're going to think she's your shadow. But, Sally, I couldn't have such a shadow if I wasn't the Queen of Mary. <laughs> Since you ain't the king of England. All right, I want to stop you. You're the idiot me. from Italy, and Rosa's sticking in your class until you get married, that's all. Well, Lord, I... I just... Mommy, I'm worried. Something inside of me is afraid this is going to come through and is making me out the side of turn the green. <laughs> Luigi, you got a real problem. I'm ain't going into the quick <laughs> That's why I'm gonna work at the quick hour. You gotta help me figure out how to get a roast out of our class. Oh, look, sure, that, that, that's gonna be hard, Luigi. You got to get that girl packet. Fat or no fat, she is proving that she has a real good brain. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, from the Holstein, she is turning into an Einstein. <laughs> of course, that was not the kind thing to say. That was foolish, boorish, and stupid. Oh, I hate what you said, but I love the way you said it. <laughs> oh, now, smile, everybody. We're going to find a way out. Oh, mm -hmm. Miss Lady Dick sent her a fake letter from the Board of Education, saying she has been dismissed. Then she stays home forever. Yeah, and then we all go to Zing Zing for ten years. <laughs> there must be something we could do. There must be something. Hey, maybe we can make Rosa get the silly. She's acting too nice in the classroom. Luigi, you got it. Oh, why didn't I think of it before? Oh, what, 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 Rosa loves to laugh, right? Yeah. To laugh is putting it mildly, she giggles. Sure. Cackle is more lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, today, Mr. Ors, the principal, is coming in to watch the class. <laughs> Do you begin to catch on? Yes. Oh. You, you mean, you mean we make her laugh and, and then she acts the silly? Silly, I told you the beginning. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to make with a lot of shows. Yeah. <laughs> Rosa gets hysterical with laughing. <laughs> Maybe you can reach over and give her a tickle. Yes, yes. Yeah. And when the principal hears <laughs> a hyena calling to its mate, <laughs> he's going to think she's a lunatic and throw Rosa out of the house. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Why, gentlemen, she is coming here. Yes. Hello, sir, classmates. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. I wouldn't even need the show. <laughs> oh, here comes the teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening, Miss Class, before I begin the lesson, let me warn you, our principal is coming in today to observe us, so let's be especially smart. All right, I'll call the roll now. Uh, Mr. Basco? I'm here. Mr. Howard? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Rosen? Yeah. Rosa? Yeah. Mr. Schultz, is your name Rosa? 
I don't know. Call out Schultz. If Rosa answers, that ain't me. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that is not funny. There's been entirely too much laughter in this class, and if Mr. Ors decides to throw anyone out, he'll have my cooperation. Oh, is that going to be easy? <laughs> oh, uh, good evening, Mr. Ors. Good evening, Mr. Ors. Good evening, Miss Balding. Good evening, class. Go right ahead with the lesson, please. I'll just take a seat right here. Class, I ask you to memorize certain important dates in American history. Mr. Basso, you may tell us why 1775 was important. Well, uh, well it was it was the start of American Revolution. Yes. Uh, Mr. Howard, why was 1776 famous? It was one year after the start of the American Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, the Declaration of Independence. Yes, of course. Uh, Mr. Olson, 1787. The United States Constitution was adopted. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, seventeen ninety-six. That's what my wife paid for her new dress. <laughs> what? Seventeen ninety-six reduced from eighteen dollars. <laughs> Smile, Rosa. That's funny. Rosa, why aren't you laughing? Mr. Schultz, how ridiculous can you get? Huh? <laughs> Schultz, Schultz, make a laugh. I warned you, no whispering. Uh, Rosa, tell Mr. Schultz what happened in 1796. Washington gave his farewell address. Not address, say address. Address? But that's what I read, 1796 before a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, Rosa, that's hilarious. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're very corny today. Him and a female Benedict Arnold. Excuse me, Miss Balding, I've got to go now. Yes, Mr. Schultz. My reason for stopping by was to relay a message from the main office. There's been too much absenteeism in the night school classes. Now, we feel that absenteeism is an abuse of a valuable privilege. Hereafter, one or two absences, unless entirely justifiable, may lead to dismissal from the school. Yes, sir. And as for myself, I might place in the same category crowning tactics and disruption of the class. Good night. I'm sorry, Miss Baldy. This is a fine time to be sorry. I asked you to cooperate and then... Yeah, but Miss Baldy, Miss Baldy, should say, he hates him, you know, right? I hope he does, but you don't. You didn't even bother to apologize for your own behavior. And I heard you prodding him on. I don't like it at all. I can tell you that, Mr. Basso. I'm ashamed of you. I don't like it one bit. Don't worry, Luigi. I like you. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. I like you, too. Tim will hang up the black tape. It looks like we're going to have a marriage after all. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we want to tell you how chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum can help make your daily work go more smoothly and successfully. You just see, to keep going at your best, you've got to feel fresh, alert, and on your toes. And chewing a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum really helps you feel that way. The lively spearmint flavor refreshes you and gives you a pleasant little lift. The smooth, easy chewing goes right along with the job itself, makes the time pass faster, and helps you keep feeling and doing your best. You don't have to take time out for it either. Just slip a stick of refreshing, delicious, wriggly spearmint gum into your mouth anytime and enjoy some really good chewing. It'll make your work more pleasant and it will help you do the job more smoothly and successfully. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm a taste gum. I never was so bad off in my class before. The spotting is to get the mad out of me and it's only make the rust look better now. The more I see her, the less fat she looks to me. <laughs> and today Pasquale has slipped to one of his little Pasquale poems under my door. He's a rotter. In these days of inflation, you can still get the good vibes 
And the Russ says that the giant economy size. <laughs> and I'm not the only one who's worried, Mama Me, because all of my friends in the class, they're getting worried too. So we decided to have a meeting in my antique shop, and Schultz was in the <coughs> I now call to order this United Nations meeting, Special SPCL Division. SPCL? Sure, so what's that? The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Luigi. <laughs> we start off by calling the rule of the member nations. The delegate from Italy? Here. The delegate from Sweden? Here. Hey, yes. The delegate from Israel? Here. The delegate from Austria? Will the delegate from Austria speak up, please? <laughs> Aha, a walkout! <laughs> hey, but it should say, that's you, huh? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to declare war on my son. <laughs> <laughs> will, will the Swedish delegate please review the problem now before the General Assembly? Yo, ho. Uh, according to Section 4, Amendment 8 of our UN Charter, and no entangling alliance shall be imposed upon one fellow nation by another fellow nation without the full consent and agreement of said fellow nation. That's uh, right, good, yeah. good. In other words, we don't want Luigi to get hooked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The floor is now open for general discussion. The delegate from Italy has his hand raised. Yes, sir, Mr. President. He all in the white Pasquale's to put the Russian hat glasses, so... so I should have gotten used to her and then marry her. Personally, I don't like when a girl sits with us in the class and she's always busy with powder, the rouge, the lipstick, and the mascara. Yeah, that's chemical warfare. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I hear any more complaints about the offending bar? Well, uh, Mr. President, you think it was a fair to suddenly put the Rossi in a class with me like this? Absolutely not! The wrapping of the atom bomb is strictly outlawed! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. President. If I may say so, we shouldn't take this matter too lightly. The struggle of a man who doesn't want to get married is as old as the age. And it's full of trickiness. In fact, the oldest story known is how a girl gets her man. You mean, me like an arras is, is nothing new? Luigi, that's why we are so worried. Oh, those women. All the time, you are getting drafted, and they make you feel like you're enlisted. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and friends, you know, that's just what's happening to me. With Russ in the class, I'm getting so used to how anything is liable to happen, which I wouldn't want to happen. Even if I wanted to, it, it wouldn't happen. But it's got to happen. Stop, stop. And then I'm a... You are getting the United Nations all for shimmer. Yeah, but... <laughs> Luigi. Oh, you, I have an idea. Oh, it's a, you have a... That's a wonderful oh, one. That's a good one. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you know, then Sweden gets a chance to keep the Nobel Prize in its own country. <laughs> Oh, oh, what is it? The, uh, the principle that anyone who is unduly absent will be dismissed. Uh -huh. Well, what we should use with Rosa is psychological warfare. Like a, well, what's the this whole thing? Figure it out. What is her greatest weakness? Greatest uh, food. What kind of food? Anything that grows, walks, swims, or flies. <laughs> Oh, what's food got to do with the whole... a whole delicatessen full of stuff, right? Yes. Right, yes. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, old and old, and you're a cheese. Yes. <laughs> Luigi, when Rosa walks you to school tonight, yes. you stop off first in my delicatessen. Yes. And while she's inside, uh -huh. we begin teasing her appetite. You get it? Yes. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Good. Then she starts to eat, yes. she's so happy, sure. she don't want to come to school. No. She doesn't show up once or twice, and next thing you know, she is out because of absence. <laughs> Mama, that sounds so wonderful, that's so wonderful. One thing a Russia cannot change herself, that's about the food. United Nations delegates, all those in favor of the Swedish proposal, say aye. 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 Motion passed. Delegates, do you realize that tonight we are going to make history? Gonna ma history? Yeah. For the first time since education started, a girl is going to leave school on account of Liverpool. <laughs> It's so nice walking to school with you. Yeah, that's it. Hey, that's it. Let's, let's, let's just stop in the delicatessen and, and see if the shirts is, is ready for school, huh? All right. Luigi, the rules! Oh, what an unexpected surprise! 
<laughs> Come on in, the doll. Yeah, thank you, Shirt. Uh, we, we just dropped in to see if you was ready for school, Shirt. Ach, what's the hurry? We got time. Here, Rosa, nibble on this little Frankfurt. Um. No, thank you, Mr. Shirt. Huh? Rosa, this is on the house. Free, for nothing. Stuff yourself. Yes, yeah, Live! Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. I never indulge between meals. Huh? We're all of us too much a slave to our appetites. By fighting off temptation, we develop character. And what is more important in life than character? Look who is talking! A 250-pound Gaylord Hauser! <laughs> Yeah, but a shirt, a shirt, a that. Now, that's, that's a very nasty of you to say that, a shirt, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Rosa. Sure. Maybe she don't like Frankfurt. Yeah, Rosa, it tries the cream puffs. Sure. No, I'm determined to improve myself. Luigi, come, it's time we should go to school. <laughs> we have created a literary Frankenstein. <laughs> no, Rosa, I, I, I'm going to honor you with the most Expensive delicacy in my delicatessen, no? Huh? Romanov caviar, thirty dollars a pound. Go ahead, eat it. Hey, go on, eat it, don't you? Mm, no. Oh, Romanov, that, that's named after a king. That's right. Then let the king eat it. <laughs> Him, well, she makes jokes, yes. Yeah. Shirts, shirts, is it no use, sir? Well, I guess. Uh, I guess that she ain't the hungry. But the the ridiculous! No, she looks positively anemic. Rosa, darling, darling, do me a favor, huh? And my wife Frida wants to see a movie tonight. So, how's about you watching my delicatessen store tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about school? Oh, me and Luigi will watch the school. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mr. Schultz. I have to stay in school with Luigi. Well, Luigi. We came, we saw, and we got conquered. <laughs> come on, let's go to school. That's the right. All right, just come on, Rosa. What's the matter, Luigi? Your book's too heavy to carry? No, my books are the light. This time, is my heart is a heavy. <laughs> So she wouldn't fall for the eating business, huh, Luigi? No, no, I don't. <laughs> hey, Hudson, well, what do you think I should do now? Luigi, you got to act like a man. After all, every man has to get married. Yeah, but in Luigi's case, why shouldn't it be to a woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sure, 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 you shouldn't have said that because if... Russia, well, well, she... Lens, Gefallen, he's hooked! <laughs> you, you, you lost fair and square, Luigi. You admit you're getting used to her. Go in and tell Rosa you want to be a suit before her hand. She wouldn't make you a bad wife, Luigi. And we all got to go sometime. <laughs> she is crazy about you. And she will always be true blue. <laughs> so, and besides, you can never get her out of school. That's right. Well, all right, my mind is made up. I'm, I'm going to tell her. As long as she's going to go to the school with me, I'm going to propose you. That's the boy. Good luck, Luigi. Hey, sure, sir. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Good luck, little Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> you to fool around with these menus again. Papa, your spelling is just terrible. You spell spaghetti with four G's instead of one. So what? It tastes the same no matter how many G's you got in it. And you left out the H, Papa. An H in a spaghetti? Sure, only the H is silent. Look, when you eat my spaghetti, nothing is a silent. <laughs> Rosa, since you took up a spelling in a school, I got a nothing but a trouble with you. 
about change that sign you had in the window? What for? Your arithmetic is all wrong. You put down dinner for one, 89 cents. Dinner for two, special, two dollars. <laughs> That's bad adding. <laughs> but it's good business. <laughs> Around this neighborhood, Rosa, nobody can add. You know, since you started to go to school... I might just as well tell you the rest, Papa. There's more? In school, they teach us that a good citizen always pays his bills. Ross, you you didn't pay all those bills I have in the cash register. I sent the cash out today, Papa. I wasn't more than six months behind in those bills. (laughs) Ross, you think I sent you to school to drive me crazy? Ever since you started, you've been nagging me, correcting me, making a fool out of me, acting a smart. You're not yourself. You don't even giggle like you used to. Hello, Pasquale. Rosa. Hello, Luigi. Who sent it for you, you old maid? <laughs> Papa, don't holler on Luigi. Oh. Rosa, I got a something important to say to you. At first, I got a something important to say to her. Rosa... I'm taking you out of school to start tonight. Well, I was a... What the... Oh, no! Oh, yes. I can. Yes, I'm a taking her out of school. That's right. You want to say some more about yeah, it? I'm telling you. Because I can't stand a girl that gets too smarter for my own good and who's making my life a miserable. <laughs> well, Mr. Marriage and Dodger, what are you standing around saying little things for? Your mouth's hanging Well, off. because of the study... Hey, Pascal, you really taking a rush out of school tonight? Yes, and uh, now what was you going to tell her that's so important? A rush, huh? Yes, Luigi. You think it's going to rain tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> that's my Rosa! <laughs> I'm a just a had a most worried three weeks of my whole life. But now with the rush and no more in my class, I'm a feel like a free man again. Like Uncle Pietro is always used to say, marriage is like some accident. It's got to happen to us sometime. But you don't have to go out and look for it. And I'm not going out and look for it for a long, long time. He will have a son, Luigi Vasco, Lily McGinnis. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you real chewing enjoyment and sweetens your breath besides. You see, Wrigley's Spearmint is made for good chewing. It's smooth and satisfying to chew on. And the lively, long-lasting spearmint flavor is really delicious. The minute you sink your teeth into a piece of Wrigley Spearmint gum, you get a fresh, clean taste in your mouth. And you're confident your breath is sweet for any occasion. So carry Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum with you at all times, as millions do. Be sure to get Wrigley Spearmint gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyons. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>